Multinational corporations are filling their bank accounts while emptying our world of its natural gifts. The Atlantic Ocean is no longer home to gray whales. The island marble butterfly and Pacific pond turtle have disappeared from BC. In Ontario, the paddlefish and timber rattlesnake are locally extinct. It's a global problem that's getting worse. Delegates from countries around the world are now meeting in Montreal to hash out the final details of what could be a landmark agreement to save biodiversity. I don't have to tell any of you here this afternoon that nature is under threat. In fact, it's under attack. I've been speaking for just a few moments so far, but in these couple of moments, we've lost globally as much as 136 soccer fields worth of trees. And that's just one example. The job we're doing as a world just isn't good enough. Today, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau committed $800 million to help fund four major Indigenous-led conservation projects across the country. Canada, alongside other G7 nations, had previously committed to reversing biodiversity loss by 2030. No matter what you may call it, what you're looking at is biodiversity. So what exactly is biodiversity and why does it need to be protected? Biodiversity is all living things, the genetic diversity within species and the variety of ecosystems found on Earth. A 2019 global assessment warned biodiversity is declining with unprecedented speed as humans destroy habitats, hunt and fish to excess and continue to pump out greenhouse gases. Now, there are lots of disagreements between governments. But if we can't agree as a world on something as fundamental as protecting nature, well, nothing else matters. Scientists also say the sixth mass extinction in Earth's history has already started. The last one took place eons ago, eliminating the dinosaurs. If this one continues without intervention, it will be the first extinction caused by an animal, us, humans. COP15 is the 15th Conference of Parties on Biodiversity and aims to update and rework an international treaty. The unfinished framework includes draft targets to eliminate subsidies that could be harmful to nature, increase conserved areas, ensure effective management of land and waters, and recover and conserve species at risk of extinction. With our bottomless appetite for unchecked and unequal economic growth, humanity has become a weapon of mass extinction. We are treating nature like a toilet. According to a recent report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, up to 50% of global land and waters may need to be conserved to maintain biodiversity.